How spiders ever came to be associated with Halloween, I'm not entirely sure, but I suspect marketing of decorative objects. These particular spiders are perhaps a bit more accurate than usual, but the webs are sort of a cross between webs made by completely different groups of spiders. The main types of spider webs are uh, orb webs, cobwebs, sheet webs, and funnel webs. People who make physical web type decorations often base them on funnel webs. This one, the webbing is clearly uh, based on funnel webs. It actually has more than two eyes, which is kind of atypical, but they're red. And it's got at least one pair of legs coming out of the abdomen, which uh, makes it not a spider, but a thing not of this earth. And instead of the jaws, it's got uh, insect-like mandibles. The abdomen is totally lumpy. It's offensive. Oh, well, it shows a spider that has an internal skeleton which uh, no invertebrate animal has. This one has the legs all coming out of the abdomen, like your typical plastic spider that people dangle on a thread. The eyes, there are four, the only half of the normal amount of spider eyes, but they're actually arranged kind of like the eyes of a jumping spider. It looks like the person who made this may have once actually seen a real spider. <laughs> okay, two eyes, they're red, of course always red. An illuminated balloon for an abdomen. The legs are someone like tarantula legs, but they're not jointed. They're like limp strands of spaghetti. Even though it's very far from being like a real spider, it's uh, not as offensive as that lumpy one.